to the entertaining Talking Sports. What is going on, football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video, and just my like, my luck. As soon as I make a video speculating that I think John DiFilippo could potentially be a good quarterbacks coach, not necessarily an offensive coordinator for the New York Giants, literally seven or eight minutes after I dropped the video, the news comes out that the New York Giants have picked out their new quarterbacks coach in Jerry Shulplinski. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, and I did a brief uh, you know, rundown of his resume, and I actually pulled up some very interesting quotes from former players of what he could potentially bring to the New York Giants. Yet again. The link with Chelplinski and our current head coach, Joe Judge, is the fact that they both coach with the New England Patriots. Um, of course, you know, obviously you learn from Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick uh, picks out smart minds, um, and there's a connection there. Chelplinski last year actually went on to coach with Brian Flores. Flores plucked him from the Patriots, much like Joe Judge is starting to do. So he now took another guy from the Miami Dolphins roster. This is crazy. We're taking some guys from Miami. We're taking some guys from... New England, um, but maybe all these guys had better relationships with that of a Joe Judge. But I'm sure Brian Flores is not that happy about it. I'm going to try to have a Miami Dolphins YouTuber on the channel tonight to talk about this. What he thought about some of these guys. I don't know if he knows much about a Shulplinski, but he definitely has some knowledge about the defensive coordinator that we just brought in in a Patrick Graham. So I'll certainly have him on here for that. But in this video, I want to go over the resume um, and what he brings to the table and what some former quarterbacks had to say about him. And they're actually very inspiring quotes from both that of a Jimmy Garoppolo and um, a Jacoby Brissett. Guys that uh, they said they both said he had a lot to do with their development and learning the playbook, things of that nature. He actually started as a high school football coach and worked his way up. Um, last year, he was an assistant offensive coordinator with the Miami Dolphins. He's still very young. Um, and might be a very good guy to be a quarterback coach, but we're going to have to wait and see. But let's jump into some of the quotes about uh, some of the things that uh, these guys have had to say about Chaplinski in the past. There's Chaplinski. I brought up the wrong slide. And this was the first thing I wanted to pull up. Like I said, he doesn't have the you know most illustrious resume. He's still very young. But this, again, is not for an offensive coordinator. This is for a quarterback's coach. Started at John Carroll as a graduate assistant in 2000 to 2001. Then was the Trinity High School in Ohio a football coach from 02 to 06. So he was a head coach there at the high school level. Then from 07 to 2012 at Case Western Reserve was a special teams coordinator and linebackers coach. Then with New England from 2013 to 2015. So the Patriots saw something in this guy. Belichick found him. Became the offensive assistant from 2013 to 2015 over three years. Then became the assistant quarterbacks coach from 2016 to 2018. So Belichick and the Patriots gave him, you know, an upgrade there. Then went on to coach with the Miami Dolphins last year as Flores uh, plucked him from the uh, New England Patriots as he came. And it seems he did that with a few guys, including Patrick Graham, who now Joe Judge has brought to the New York Giants. He became the assistant quarterbacks coach for a year with the Dolphins. And now, they already updated it, uh, he is now with the New York Giants as the quarterbacks coach as he continues to ascend through the ranks as he tries to improve his coaching resume. So there you go, there's, uh, there's the rundown on the resume for Chaplinski. But more importantly, I wanted to give you guys some quotes about what other quarterbacks have said about him. And this is what Garoppolo had to say. Garoppolo, of course, still in the playoffs, having a great year with the uh, San Francisco 49ers. We all know started with the New England Patriots. Belichick was very high on him. Garoppolo and Brissett both seem to say that this guy had a ton to do with their development in the NFL. Here we go. He was with me from day one, said Garoppolo. Josh McDaniels was our quarterback's coach, but Jerry was my quarterback's coach at the time. He taught me all the ins and outs of the playbook. Anything I had a question on, he was my guy. He was extremely helpful. At the beginning, you're going into a system where a guy has been doing it for however many years. Tom has been doing it with Josh, so they are kind of speaking a different language initially. You're just trying to play catch-up when you are in there, and Jerry was kind of the guy. He knows all the stuff and brings you up to speed. Not that the room was separated by any means, but he was there for you anytime you had a question. So that's really good stuff there. Um, he was able to teach him the playbook, and he said he was a very good teacher. Um, and that, I'm sure, is a big reason why Judge is interested in him and is bringing him, in, bringing him in here as the quarterback's coach. Now, I don't really view, view this as stealing him 
from the Miami Dolphins. It's an upgrade. He was an assistant quarterback coach. Now he's a quarterback's coach. So he's getting a promotion to jump to the Giants. And maybe one day he becomes an offensive coordinator, whether it be with the Giants or somewhere else. Um, but, yeah, that's showing you his ability to teach. I mean, that's an ultimate compliment there by Jimmy Garoppolo. He, he literally taught him the playbook. And then the next thing I wanted to bring up was this. This was uh, from Jacoby Brissett. Shaplinski can be credited with developing Jimmy Garoppolo and Jacoby Brissett, both of whom raved about the coaching they received from him in phone interviews this week with WEEI.com. I can't even tell you how many conversations I had with Jerry, just man-to-man, him, him helping me out and getting me acclimated to the NFL life, Garoppolo told WEEI.com. I really thank him for that. I probably wouldn't be where I am without him. He's definitely one of my favorite coaches I've ever had. I say that sincerely, Brissett told WEEI.com. He's a guy I consider more of a friend than a coach. So he's obviously very close to him and he's very thankful. And Brissett is another guy that we've seen had a, have a lot of success since leaving the uh, New England Patriots, right? He had a pretty strong year there with the Colts, and he's proven to at least be a solid quarterback, Who a guy who was a third-round pick. Um, and, yeah, Belichick gets a lot of credit, and he deserves it, but maybe guys, you know, like a Shoplinsky, guys in the background have a lot to do with it. And Belichick's not dumb. He finds guys to carry out his coaching, just like Joe Judge is trying to do here. And Shoplinsky... This is right out of the mouths. This isn't these. This is after they had left the New England Patriots. They didn't have to do this. Garoppolo and Brissett are giving him a ton of credit for their development early on in the process with the New England Patriots before obviously getting their jobs later on with the 49ers and the Colts. So I thought that was incredible. Yeah, very interesting um, that I was able to find those quotes in some articles there uh, talking about Chaplinsky, who will be the new quarterbacks coach for the New York Giants, and he will bring a new playbook, I'm sure. Well, he won't bring a playbook, obviously the coordinator will, but he will do a good job, um, you know, according to that, probably, of uh, displaying the message that needs to be displayed to Daniel Jones um, and a young quarterback. That's incredibly important to have a guy that could teach you the way that, you know, he has supposedly been able to teach young quarterbacks in the past. So, based off of that, you know, I don't know much more about the guy. He was an assistant quarterback coach with the Miami Dolphins. But based off of that... um, Again, a guy that is obviously very highly thought of from guys who coached in the New England Patriots, you know, coaching tree. You know, Flores brought him over to be the assistant quarterback coach, and now our coach, Joe Judge, is bringing him over to be the quarterback's coach. So it seems as if he continues to bring in guys he's incredibly familiar with. Joe Judge obviously thought this through. He had a plan. Things are starting to develop quickly. We're still waiting on the offensive coordinator. But the fact that Schleplinski is now the quarterback's coach, well... One guy that I speculated uh, by rumors uh, that he could potentially be interested in was Freddie Kitchens, and I thought Kitchens may have been a target for the quarterback's coach. Well, if Shulplinski got that position, what does that tell you Freddie Kitchens could potentially be interviewed for? It's possible we may see Kitchens as the offensive coordinator. Again, that's just speculation. That's just rumors. Nothing's official. Um, He may very well not be that guy. For all we know, it could be anybody. Um, But based on the guys that he has now brought in, um, you know, between Graham and Shulplinski, I think it's starting to tell you that Joe Judge is going to bring in guys that he's coached with in the past, whether it's at Mississippi State, whether it's with the New England Patriots, and he's bringing in guys who are smart, right? The fact that this guy was able to teach an entire playbook and Jimmy Garoppolo gave him that much, you know, uh, credit for it uh, goes to show you that he did a hell of a job at teaching. And in a position that he's going to be in a quarterback coach, that's exactly what your job is to do. It's to teach the quarterback the playbook. It's to teach, and that, and we're going to need that. We're going to need those exact skills for Daniel Jones because I've said this many times. When you're a quarterback coming into the NFL, you're used to a college system, albeit you know obviously Daniel Jones played in a pro style offense with the Duke Blue Devils, right? Uh, C- Cutcliffe, um, you know, had a lot to do with the development of both Peyton and Eli Manning. But regardless, it's like reading Chinese when you come into the pros. It's a completely different game. He had to do that his rookie year with Pat Shermer. Now he's going to have a whole new playbook. You need guys like this. Guys like this are like the unsung heroes with a coaching staff. A Shoplinski could be vital, important, in the development of Daniel Jones learning a completely new system. I think there's a really good hire based on some of the things I've read, based on the fact he's come from the New England Patriots, he coached there for five or six years. It's also obviously a very good sign that he was brought over from Flores and now obviously from Joe Judge. It speaks a lot to hit his potential to be a teacher and a coach um, for the New York Giants. Is this a huge impact move? Is this going to grab headlines? No, he's not an offensive coordinator. He's not a defensive coordinator. He's not a head coach. 
But this could be an under-the-radar move that could really help Daniel Jones in the future and in the present. So I actually really like this movie. After I read some of those quotes, I thought they were incredibly encouraging. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys got something out of it. And uh, yeah, Jerry Schlaplinski will be the New York Giants' new quarterbacks coach, a position that's really important this offseason, being that Daniel Jones is going into his second year. As always, guys, if you liked what you watched, please subscribe, drop a comment, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.